everyone welcome to flying abroad so on our channel we have made various videos related to studies in germany and under those videos we get a lot of comments related to blocked account so in this video we are going to talk about the blocked account and we will understand everything about the german blocked account so let's get started so first of all why do you need a german blocked account for a german student visa so once you get the admission letter from a german university with all the excitement here comes a lot of paperwork which basically starts with the german student visa so when you go to german embassy or consulate for your student visa they will ask you for a blocked account confirmation and why do they ask for it because this is basically to prove that you have sufficient funds to cover your living expenses in germany this is also called as a spare conto in german language so now you know why you need a blocked account so now let's quickly understand what is a german blocked account so it's a specific type of account only where you block 10332 euros for a year and this account is completely yours so this account you need because when you are here in germany you will be able to withdraw 861 euros per month to sufficiently fund yourself and this amount is basically like when you divide 10332 euros uh, by 12 months then you get 861 euros and you can always check the exact amount while applying for your visa on the embassy website or on the consulate website but as per the latest information this is the amount that you need and we will also put a screenshot uh, so you can see what all other requirements are there about the blocked account next point is what all blocked account provider options do we have so there are multiple options like for example Coracle Expatio Fintiba Deutsche Bank so now let's understand about them in detail so now let's talk about the major factors that can help you to decide that which blocked account you want to open your account with so uh, the first important thing that we need to consider is security and trust because as a student and it's a foreign country and the amount is also super huge so you need to take this into consideration that your amount is in safe hands so security and trust is very important after that you also need to see that is your account opened with a german bank a fully licensed german bank because in germany if your account is opened in a fully licensed german bank then they are covered with a 1 lakh euro deposit insurance and you need to also see that your german blocked account is not only accepted in your country basically by german embassy or consulate but it is also accepted by the local foreigners authority which is also called ausländerbehörde after you land in germany so as a student it might be confusing that which provider to choose so we will try to break down some of the options and try to give you some of the understanding about the providers as we talked about security and trust so here fintiba opens your account in a fully licensed german bank which is zutor bank and it is a 100 year old german bank located in hamburg so that means that your account will not only be accepted by the embassy and the consulate but will also be accepted by the authorities here in germany acceptance by the foreign authorities here in germany is particularly important because they give importance to this that the account is opened in a german bank or not so as per the information given on the websites correctal and expatio currently open your account via financial providers and not with a german bank so while opening your german blocked account we would uh, recommend to give uh, like importance to this point another advantage that comes along with having a blocked account opened at a fully licensed german bank is that it is insured with 100000 euro deposit insurance Fintiba ensures that every individual account is protected with this type of particular insurance from German state whereas other providers have no way of insuring your money with the protection from the German uh, state finally while opening the blocked account you must also see that whether it is opened under your own name and you get a German IBAN so Coracle offers this to some of its customers whereas Expatio does not of mention about it on their website so we have gathered all this information from the websites of all these online providers and so Fintiba is therefore the only digital blocked account provider which meets all these requirements we insist more about the security because this should be your primary focus while you choose your service provider at then it's a very large sum and you want to deposit it safely 
Now let's see what are the services provided by all these blogged account providers. So mainly with these three digital providers, you have an option to take either a German blogged account only or you also have an option to take a complete package to have less hassle here in Germany. So in that package, you will get a German blog account. Then you will get a government health insurance or a private health insurance and also at the options of travel health insurance. Now we have understood what all main service providers are there and what type of services they are offering. So now let's see what are the fees of opening only German blogged account with all of these. So for Fentiba, the one time fees is 89 euros and the per month fees is 4 euro 90 cents. For Coracle, one time fees is 99 euros and there is no monthly fee which makes it as a cheapest option. For Expatio, the one time fees is 49 euros and the monthly fees is 5 euros per month. Blocked account opening process is completely online with all these service providers. So now let's see how much time it's gonna take to open the blocked account with all these service providers. And we have checked all this information on their websites. So for Expatio, it takes within uh, basically few minutes and for Coracle, it is opened in few hours and for Fintiba, it takes less than 10 minutes. So all in all, looks like uh, all the blocked account providers are opening your blocked account in few minutes. It's not that different and it's very quick as well. However, you also need to consider the time it takes for you to access your amount once you are here in Germany. So to receive your first payout with Coracle, you need to submit uh, or provide few documents which are your visa, uh, your city registration, a photo of your immigration stamp and a confirmation of your current opening account. So uh, once these documents are provided, it takes up to seven days for you to receive your first payout and the process is almost similar for Expatio where it takes few days. Fintiba ensures a faster payout system where you only need to upload your visa and once that is verified, you can set up your payouts in their app. And this process is quite similar to an online banking system and is also uh, secured with a two-factor authentication using your phone number. Now if you talk about the usability of the services, mobile app is only provided by Fintiba where you can check all the details about your blocked account and also find additional services which will basically support you on your journey to Germany. And if we talk about the web app that is provided by Expatio and Fintiba both as per the information given on their websites. By providing a personal login, Expatio and Fintiba makes it much easier to manage all the process and view your data more transparently. This ensures that no documents with sensitive data are sent by the email as this is the case with Coracle for example. However, a big advantage of the Fintiba app is that you can upload or change your data in your profile if you face any error or if there is a change in the appointment for example. For Coracle and Expatio, this process is manual and Fintiba has automated it so which uh, makes it easier and also saves a lot of your time. To sum it up, if I share my experience, I remember from my time that I opened my German blocked account at, in an old way at the Deutsche Bank where you need to get all your uh, account opening documents attested from German consulate and then basically send them to a local Deutsche Bank in Germany via post and which used to take several weeks. In my case, I think it took four to six weeks. And here we are in digital era. Fintiba was the first one to digitalize all this blocked account process in January 2017, which basically used to take very long as we understood in this video. Expatio and Coracle followed the similar solutions. However, the main difference is that they do not open the individual German blocked account at a fully licensed German bank, whereas Fintiba does as per the information given on their websites. Even though Coracle and Expatio seems to be cheaper option, but if we take into consideration all the factors like security, trust and convenience, Fintiba becomes the uh, most favorable choice for all the international students. As per the information given on their website, they have already helped more than 1 lakh students up to 2020 on their way to Germany. And the mobile app offered by Fintiba is an additional step that helps you in your crucial steps on your way to Germany as a student. And also while uh, depositing your money, you need to take into consideration the security and trust factor because again, Again, it is a huge amount so if you have seen like other videos on our channel you must be knowing that my brother is also doing his masters from a German public university so when we wanted to open a blocked account for him we did a lot of research and then we went with Fintiba because of all the given factors 
factors and uh, we would recommend you to uh, like uh, go for Fintiba considering all these factors. After understanding and knowing all the details, we want to suggest you that you do your own research and check all the services uh, from all the service providers and then basically you take your own decision. So that's all for this video. I hope that this video was helpful for you and if it was helpful, we request you to like this video and also if you have any other questions, you yeah. can ask them under the comments and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, we would also request you to please subscribe and we will see you in our next videos. Until then, bye and take care.